This is LEGO, this is Fortnite, and this is LEGO in Fortnite. LEGO and Fortnite have come together to create a survival adventure game, and I'm about to spend 100 days inside it. My goals for this are pretty simple. Kill the hardest enemy in the game, build a cute little village, and make a best friend. On day one, I met Cuddle Team Leader. You are going to be my first friend. What's up? Anyways, after speaking to her, I picked up my first bit of granite, and then proceeded to get jumped by the spider, which I, uh... Destroyed. After that, I beat the hell out of this tree. <laughs> I've been editing at its finest. Am I right? You, you're gonna see that a lot. Oh, place a camp. Oh, it's so cozy. As the sun was setting, I wanted to quickly build this shack so we have a little bit of shelter on us. Boom. Look at that. Beautiful. Done. It, just like that. I then placed the crafting table underneath it so we can build some tools like an axe and a pickaxe, you know. As I was looking at what we could build next, I heard this suspicious noise. What's that noise? Whoa! This is a rainbow firefly. It's absolutely harmless. It leads us to good loot, but it could lead us to our death. I'm freezing. I'm literally taking damage. Bro, this thing's leading me to my death. What kind of bomb foolery is this? At the end of the night, I built a village square, which declares the surrounding area as my own. Jacopanto Village 1. Lovely. Day two of Lego Fortnite has come upon us. I pet this sheep which dropped some wool. Lovely. Then collected some wood with my newly crafted tools. But then a danger came upon us. Oh shit. This my friends is a wolf. Danger level right now? High. This thing could honestly wipe our ass. Ah, never back down. Flip. Yeah, run away. Oh shit, he's calling his friend. I tried getting more wood but bro charged at me and this on god turned into a Dark Souls fight. Mmm. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. That was fuck. Yeah. Jesus, that took forever. I then wanted to build a new home to attract NPCs to come and live here. Boom. Check out the new home. Double shack complete. New bed as well. There we go. Assign bed to me. Thank you very much. Um, hello? Freaking stalker much? Bright Bomber came to the village and asked if she could actually live here. But I mean, uh, she's kind of creepy. On day three, I managed to upgrade the village square to level two. And goddamn, we got so many more recipes to build stuff with. I took the time to build a nice little log house shed thing. It looks quite cool, I think. I then wanted to go exploring, so I built some more tools just to prepare myself. Whoa, look at this. It's like a broken castle. That's a wolf. Yeah, bye. Inside this place, I managed to find a chest where we had some spicy peppers, raspberries, and blast powder. Little did I know, on the other side of this wall was the hardest enemy in the entire game. Um. Um, that must be one of the brutes. The ice brute. The hardest enemy in the game. Could I take it? Absolutely not. I stumbled across a scorpion, which I thought was harmless, but... But no, it, it flipping one-shot me. Yeah. What? Bro, what, what the hell are the stats on that thing? Once I got my loot back, I came across an actual NPC that flipping swung at me, bro. What? I tried killing it with multiple blows. But it one-shot me. Am I in the deep end or something? What's going on? Dude, this is Lego freaking Fortnite. I should not be dying like that. I've made myself a grill though. Lovely. Fortnite quote of the day has my meat cooks. Um, it's only when the map changes that people care about the old one. Real. Day four. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. I leveled up the village to level three. Brilliant. It's, everything's fanned up a dozy. I felt super nice and even asked Bright Bomber to live with us. Um, but she said no. But that's okay. I built her a bed for her to sleep in. But then she was gone. Um, where she's just left. I did all of that for her. I even... Bro. All good in the hood. I got Cuddle Team Leader as my best friend. We breaking it down right now. On that night, a new NPC came called Robin. Could be our dynamic duo. Potentially my future wife. Do you have a spot for me to sit? Well, of course I do, Robsters. Hey, come on. On day five, me and the Robster went out and, you know, fighting crime, doing what we do. We then found a bunch of people guarding this chest, and as soon as they caught eyes on us, mate, they were all over us. Yeah, you ain't got nothing on us, buddy. See you later. Have a nice nap. Forever. Yeah, boom. Dead. We then stole all of our loot, which wasn't much, but hey, I'll take it. Yo, I think we found our first cave. All right, let's hop in. Whoa. Now nah, that was awesome. There really wasn't much we could do right now inside these caves, except from kill a couple of skeletons and dip. It took me the whole night to run back home, but on day six, we managed to upgrade our crafting table. Boom. Yes, a new pickaxe, thank God. This rainbow then spawned out of our rift. I, I mean, I was so confused on what this was, but maybe there's treasure in it. I, I don't know. Yo, it's Raptor! 
Yeah, you're part of my village now, mate. I then went exploring with Raptor and bro, we came across a dry valley by him. This place is cool as hell. I've stolen one of your crossbows. Oh, yeah, you don't want the smoke. Mate, man cake, back off. Okay, or just get deleted. See you later, buddy. We managed to make it back on the morning of day seven where we saw me out schools chilling out. Yeah, I'm me out schools. You've probably heard of me, so I won't flex on you too much. Shut the fuck up. It was about time I built a brand new home, so I decided to go and build a roomy shack. However, I had no wood. Ah, oh, wood, why? Just done like that. Yeah, we're totally not on day eight now. Flipping out, that took a whole day. Oh, look who's come running back. Mm hmm. You're gonna th you think you'll stay at my village tonight? I don't think so. Day nine, I tried doing a little bit of farming. You know, I built a little farm. It was very bad. And then it started raining, so I hid under some shelter for the night. Day 10, me and Raptor went back inside the cave because I could now mine not root with my brand new forest pickaxe. Come on. 120. Let's go. I ended up building this log watch tower on day 11. And I gave it some decorations, which is lovely. Cool of the day. The smaller the circle, the better the people get. Real. We managed to upgrade our village to level 5. That, that is an accomplishment. On day 12, me and Raptor went out, beat some guys up, tried mining a cactus, but it just didn't seem to budge. Then found this little guy, which you'd think would be harmless, but, but, but I mean, I mean, I mean, it seemed harder. It didn't even attack once. We just kind of double teamed the shit out of it. We then found another one, and uh, it turns out, um, what? A sand roller. It can literally one shot you. But when double teamed, it has no chance. On day 13, I managed to run and get all my loot back, which took forever. We had to fight off these cowboys and, and the chest blew up. For some reason, this sand dog just didn't want to hurt us. It just kept running away. Oh my god. Just die, god damn it. Oh, you, oh so now you attack me. <sighs> day 14, I got my loot back. And then nothing important happened until day 17 where I managed to make a stone breaker. Finally, some sort of progress. Hello, Aura. What, what are you doing there? You wanna live here? Yeah. Day 18, I went into a brand new cave to get some marble and some more knot root. Day 19, I managed to make a crafted table upgrade so we could build some better pickaxes. Yeah. Dude, I need something to lighten up the mood. I need a new Fortnite quote today. Let me think of one. How do you expect to take the high ground if you don't have the time to farm? Now that is brilliant. Bad. We just leveled up to level six. What a freaking day. I am now hyped. I then built myself a health charm and a cool headed charm, which gives us so much more health. On the morning of day 20, a supply drop came out of a rift, so I had to go and see it. This better drop me something amazing. Right, that was absolutely bollocks. What the hell is that? Oh shit, what the? Bro, I was fully zoned out. What the hell was that thing? This is the Grasslands Brute. It's not as powerful as the Ice one, but we're gonna have to take it out eventually. I reckon I could take it. Oh my god. Yeah, no, thank you. Not for me. On day 22, this Rainbow Firefly came back, and guess where it led me? Yeah, nice one, game. Yeah, just trying to get me killed, are we? Alright, I'll pick up what you're putting down. Somehow I managed to take him out. Like, bro, they were powerful. Like, they're clearly not powerful enough for me. <laughs> I spent the next two days getting resources, more tools, and food so we could go out and explore the Icelands. Oh, that's a roller if I've ever heard one. Where is it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Rest in rap, Raptor. Raptor, you're back! Alright, let's double team this mofo. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I feel like I feel like that scene off Invincible. This is this is payback, buddy. Yeah, get freaking destroyed. After that, I found a chest and actually found some good loot inside it. Oh, we got some cheese and some heavy wool. Lovely. Dude, these guys are about to beat the heck out of each other. All right, who wins? My money's on the sand roller. Oh, Raptor, you don't want to be part of this, buddy. Oh, never mind. Ice roller, I will absolutely avenge you, buddy. There we go. You know what? Even Clara's friends over here. Raptor, mate, I need some assistance, please. Tag team. Never mind. Right. How has that happened? I tried to run him back for my loot as soon as possible, but just... Yeah, it didn't go well. <sighs> I spent the last three days rebuilding my tools so we could go back out on another adventure to collect some brand new loot. On day 30, I'm out traveling. I am so far away from it. I forgot that happened. Oh, I went so far. Oh, look, my loot's actually off the map. Brilliant. Fuck me. How do I even do this alone? Fortnite quote. Playing solo is the scariest. Winning the solo is the hardest, but winning the solo feels the best. 
That's so real. The sun was rising on day 33 where I decided to go back and get my old loot. Ice roller, mate, in the politest way possible, you can frick right off. After dying so many times, I knew the only way I could get all my loot back is to avoid every enemy at all costs. No, nope, I do not want the smoke. I do not want the smoke. Not today, sir. Goodbye. Giddy gosh, I finally got my loot back. Raptor, there is a scorpion, mate. Take the hit from me. You're my best friend. You know what? I'm just going to go. As I made my way back, my brother ended up joining the game because I knew I needed some assistance if I wanted to get the loot that was across the map. I think he's about to die. Yep, there we go. Fuck's sake. Should I eat the burgers they gave you, mate? I want them back, actually. As I continued the journey to get my loot back without my brother, I, I ended up dying again. It's just flipping inevitable at this point, am I right? In a piece, in a piece, in a piece. On day 35, we basically just gave into our depression and just chilled at the village for the entire day. But on day 38, we managed to make it to the loot. We had to camp out for the night on our way back, otherwise we would have just froze to death again. But to cure our boredom, we just built another little shower, which is, is quite cool, actually. Yeah, progress. Woo! Woo! Fuck. On the morning of day 39, we made our way home, and when we got back, Harry wanted to make a log home for me. Boom, and it's done. Check that out. On day 40, Harry ended up leaving. Oh, bro just disintegrated. What the hell? And on day 41, I tried throwing dynamite at this tree I couldn't break. And surprisingly, it worked. Okay, serious question. Am I getting endgame loot when I'm not supposed to be right now? I found this ice cave which was around the corner from my home which is lovely. God damn it man, why are we freezing? Okay, I can't really explore this right now. Let me get some more dynamite. Alright, let's see if a dynamite can tackle whatever this is. Apparently not. Maybe if I throw more that might work. Oh! Ooh, okay, what is it? Iron! Huh. Iron. I went into the cave and found so many more chests. This looks like a loot. Loot galore, even though there wasn't much inside them. We also found some sapphire, which I managed to blow up with the rest of my dynamite. On day 42, freaking lightning came down and attacked me, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, chill out there, buddy. Flipping weather, man. On day 43, I made my way back to the drylands because I knew something wasn't right in terms of the loot I was getting. So I ended up blowing up a bunch of cacti to get some flex wood. Okay, hopefully we can make some shit now. On day 44, I ended up following a rainbow firefly and God, grace the Lord, it gave me a llama, which is insane. We managed to make ourselves a loom, which <laughs> we can make silk and wool fabric. I don't know what that means. <gasps> Balloons! Yes! <gasps> a glider! <gasps> On day 47, I made my way back to the dry valley to collect some amber. How, you may ask? Well, I upgraded my pickaxe with that flex wood we got earlier. Oh, we can now make a gem cutter. Things are looking bright again. The rainbow thing is right here. I don't know why it's right here, but it's right here. Right. What am I looking at? Um, can I have some loot? The rainbow gave me no loot, but I found myself. Bro, a flipping Durabugger in the middle of absolutely nowhere. What did I have to do to it? Freaking destroy it. Sorry mate, but there's only one beef boss around here. And that's me. I ended up walking back to the rainbow because I knew it should have dropped something. So I ended up popping an emote. And well, there you have it. Right. I have had it up to here with this bomb foolery. I ended up finding a sand cave where I could collect some ruby, which is quite cool. As well as some copper that I found and some obsidian. Successful journey? I think so. On day 50, Harry ended up joining back and oh, well, we're still in the dry vans, but this time we're fighting a sand brute. Ah! What the hell? What the? What are the stats on this guy? He just one shot me nearly. All right, fat boy, you want some of this? Day 51, I got all my loot back and decided to make a gem cutter. All right, let's cut some gems. I can make the glider. Finally! Yes! I need like a special place to take flight for the first time. Where should I do this? How do I even equip it first? There. Oh, lovely. All right, let's do this. The top of that mountain is what we're jumping off to test this glider for the first time. Okay, it's night time. Honestly, I didn't realize it would take this long to get up this hill. Me and Raptor ended up camping out for the night, and there was just this weird green ore poking out the snow. I blew it up with some dynamite, and apparently it's um mana mana kite mana mana kite mana mana suck your mum. What, what even what even is that? Day 52, it was time to take flight in Lego Fortnite. Raptor, my friend, are you ready to do this shit? Raptor, mate, I'll see you on the other side. Oh, 
this. Whoa. Well, that's a pretty shot. Ow. Well, that was fun. God damn it. I'll tell you what though, that was freaking awesome. I did love that. It is just a shame that it consumes your sprint for some reason. On day 53, I made myself a brand new crossbow because I wanted to take out that ice brute we saw at the beginning of the video. Right, I'm going into this. Absolutely can't. What the hell is that? All right, chill out, mate. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Raptor! That tree just saved my life. Harry then joined the game to help me with the fight, but he got absolutely clarted. I then died myself. Okay, that was my bad. That was my bad. Whoa, what a freaking dodge that was. Yeah, nice one game. I then decided to go in head first for the final blows because we were so close to defeating this guy, man. Come on. Come on, you big fella. All right. I'll dodge that. Yep, see you later. You ain't catching me today, mate. Mm. Woo! Yep, come on. We're so close. Never mind. There we go. Woo! Okay, so it only drops the scale. I then went exploring into an ice cave where I died. I tried running back from my loot, but I died. Day 54, I ate a pizza to get my health up a bit. But then guess what? I died. Love this game. On my last attempt, I actually got my loot back and sprinted my way out. Yes! 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 Finally! Good lord. It was now day 57 and I found that sand brute that one shot us that one time, well, nearly. And uh, we, we scrapped for a bit. We're up to me. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> That's our brutal. Get out! Ow! Yeah, what's even the point, mate? I'm out of here. Wait, if I use this to boost me up and then glide? Oh, now I've got the high ground. It's now day 58, and I'm still out here killing this damn sand brute. Look at him, he's like on a quarter of that of health. We can actually do this, come on. Raptor, come on. Hit him with that pickaxe, buddy. We got this shit. Okay, never mind, bro, just keep getting clapped. I'll do it myself, buddy. I can do this shit. We're okay, I'm actually really close. Come on, like, sit. I made my way back to collect my loot and no surprise bro despawned. I ended up making a brand new village here in the dry valley just so I could respawn to kill this motherfucker. Oh Bright Bomber, you're here, yeah? You wanna stay at this village? Be my fucking guest. These stupid damn brutes, man. Honestly, why are they so powerful? I feel like I'm replaying Elden Ring for the like 20th time. You know what? This will do a trick. Just blast him with this bad boy. Right, there's one over this hill apparently. How do I like put this down real quick? Oh god, I wanna die, I wanna die. Do I even bother? I got a crappy crossbow that's gonna break in like two more shots. You know what? I'm just gonna go. You know what? I'll, I'll fight you later, mate. You're my like end game boss. You're pissing me off now. I ended up making my way back to the original village. You know what? I just can't let this go. I am making the best crossbows to kill this motherfucker. There you are, mate. I have a hundred arrows that are about to enter your scalp. Dude, if I end up dying again in like a fortnight, I'm actually gonna lose my mind in a minute. Guys, I think I've glitched him. He's just standing still. He doesn't know what to do. I think I've got him. Yeah, I'm doing something else. Fuck this guy. On day 60, I wanted to take flight, bro. So I experimented with the toys. All right, with these two thrusters, that'll take us forwards. And if I place a balloon in the middle, it should bring us up. Hopefully. All right, well, here goes nothing. Nothing's actually working. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, this is super cool. Oh, we're going to hit the mountain. Turn. Oh, I don't even know how it's turning. There we go. Yep. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hallelujah! Okay, I've managed to perfectly bring it round, but how How do I like put this down? Do I just break the balloon? Okay, that's to activate. Okay. Um, what do I do? Do I, do I like jump? No. Thank god we're right next to it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna rip this game a new one in a minute. This is fucking ridiculous. Why do I have to put my spawn point over here? Quarter of the day. You can take as many mini pots as you want, but it will never fully heal you. Real. Day 61, I broke it down with everybody in the village because, oh, we have a big project on our hands now. I've gave up fighting people because we're gonna build a brand new village. All right, I'm about to grab as much wood as possible. Two hundred and forty. That should be enough for now, right? This is the perfect place to put a house. Look how beautiful it is. All right, place it there. All right, let's begin this build. I'm done. 
Yes! Dude, check out this view. It is flipping glorious. I ended up placing a village square here so we can turn this place into a full village. And these spiders like frick off. The next home is a jumbo lodge. Let's do it. That took a whole day, but hey, I think it's worth it. Look at that. On day 65, Meow School's game, so I built him a bed and, you know, let him live here. Welcome to the village, mate. Alright, we're now building another watchtower for the village. I finished the build on day 67 because I ran out of wood, and I also built a nice little log home. On day 68, I found another grass unscrew. I don't really have the weapons to do this. Oh god. I managed to escape and headed back to camp just so I could build some crossbows to take this man out. Two crossbows, 146 arrows, you're done. He's despawned, hasn't he? I ended up going back to the new village and upgraded it to level 3, but somebody unexpected came along. Um, hello, me? What the flip is happening? Raptor, what do you think about this beef boss? It's not safe out here, we need to get- Bro, you're a pussy. Beef boss, what are you doing out here, bro? You need to get inside. Hey, it's you. Are you not seeing this storm? We need to get somewhere inside. Yeah, come on then, you dickhead. Where are you going? It seemed that Beef Boss was quite the warrior staying out here in the storm, unlike Raptor, so I dismissed Raptor and, you know, brought Beef Boss. Okay, why is there three of me now? Pew, pew, pew. Um, Raptor, mate, this is best friends only. Goodbye. On day 70, I built a new flying machine because I wanted to fly across the map to get to the shores where apparently the grasslands brood spawns. Okay, I have traveled so far. Beef Boss, I think this is our stop now. Alright, how do we do this? You first, mate! Never mind, uh, you know what, I'll just take the leap of faith. Ah, what's up, danger? Woo! Plop. Um! You got- no, 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 no. You have no idea how far I just traveled. Look at this, it's off the map. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I'm gonna rip. I'm gonna kill someone. Day 71, I'm still walking. But day 72, I managed to get my loot back. Thank the heavens. <gasps> okay, he's here. Beef boss. We got this. You go right, I'll go left. Let's go! Yo! Whoop. Yep, not fooling for that again, buddy. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. Woo. Yep, see you later. I'm too quick now. Go on, Beef Boss. Have him out. We're doing him. A... Never mind. Dude, we're doing, a... we're doing a great job right now, Beef Boss. He's so low, come on. Oh, yep. Yes. Oh, finally. Finally. I got that flipping scale. After the fight, I ended up camping out of Coral Reef. Where I come from, I'm called Chipwreck Survivor. But you can like totally call me Coral Reef, dude. Yeah, nice to meet you, mate. On the evening of day 74, me and Beef Boss made it back. I then had a look at how we can upgrade our crafting bench. And now we just need copper and obsidian. So on day 75, that's exactly what I did. Boom. Alright, that should be enough. Dude, we are flipping stacked on resources now. I had to roll my way back because for some reason my stamina bar was just completely glitched. Right, I'm off with myself. I've had enough of this stamina bar. I'm just gonna reset. That's all it is, Mouse. A leap of faith. Like, what's up, danger? Right. And I still survive. Like, what's up, danger? There we go. Hopefully my stamina bar is fixed because that was getting on my knickers. Um, um, game? Where the hell am I? Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, 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 no. For some odd reason, I was now abandoned. I don't know, was that cool? It, it sounded cool. Maybe there's something on land that can kill me. Yes, touch me. Yes. Yes. One more hit. Beefos, chill. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's see. <laughs> Oh, you can't be serious right now, right? I'm gonna quit this game right here right now. Day 77 and the journey back begins. I thought this was quite a cinematic depressing shot to represent the moment. Day 78 came and we're still running. I had to build a flipping skyscraper with the limited resources I had to get across these stupid islands. Day 79 came across and I managed to find some dead loot which was uh... Yay. Oh, hello. Calamity. Beef boss started to get a bit weird. That looks pretty tasty. All right, chill out, mate. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, day 80, I could see the green land. So, oh my God, things are looking brighter. We're getting closer. Quote of the day, when in doubt, pop an edit out. That's a Jackal original. Well, I thought I was getting closer, but apparently not. Well, I've been running for the entire day. Day 81 came by and we can nearly finally see our base on the map. Oh my giddy gosh. Yes, we're finally home. I see my loot. We jumped off that mountain over there. Oh, happy days. This has been a lesson and a half. Even when there's problems in your way, 
make sure to never commit because that's one thing you can't take back. We're sending these stairs into the heavens, bro, so I never have to see them again. Wait, are they just gonna... Wait, oh my god, I didn't think they saw. Are they just gonna stay up there forever? You know what? That's a constant reminder never to commit. On day 82, I got rid of Beef Boss because, I don't know, being around him for that long, uh, he kind of, kind of gave me the ick. So, and I want Raptor back. Raptor, me and you, together forever. I'm sorry I sacked you off. Let's do this shit. For the rest of the day, I ended up making this garage, which looks freaking awesome. And with the loot we got a few days ago, I managed to upgrade our village square to level 10. Victory dance, everyone. Come on. Come on. No, it's just me and Raptor. All right. Day 83, me and Raptor started talking shit about Beef Boss. What is Beef Boss? I know, right? He's a fucking dweeb. We then made our way to the Dry Valley Caves again, because this time we needed to find Bright Core. Oh, ho, ho. Uh. Wait, there's lava in this game since when? Raptor, mate, I think we found Bright Core. Let's have a look at this bad boy. And it is. All right, let's go and get some more. Boom. 30, 40, 42. Lovely. Oh, that, that skeleton's not having a fun time. I then ended up finding a chest which had a sand brute scale inside, bro. Then I proceeded to get absolutely jumped. Ow! I don't know if finding this is a good or bad thing because technically now I don't need to kill that sand brute. I made my way out of the cave and headed back home. Okay, we should be able to make, what was it called again? Uh, like a, a metal smelter, yes. Let's cook up that obsidian. We are rich on bright core as well, look at that. Wait, I need to check if my bed's assigned to me again. Um, okay. Yeah, beef boss mate, you're living under this watchtower from now on. You're probably the reason why I got spawned across the entire map because you took my bed. <sighs> nice to be back in my own bed. Raptor, please look away. Okay. Wait, I only have two blast core. I need three to make the metal smelter. Fortnite call of the day. You don't get materials from breaking other people's builds. Now that is real. Right, if I place a small thruster here, then I should be able to go diagonally. No, 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 that, not that way. Wait. Yes. Yes. Okay, now if I break it, there we go. There we go. Now we just go forward. Boom, perfect parking as well. All right, let's get that blast cord. Oh my God, there's a lot of enemies down here. All right, one into that. I think Raptor's messing up a blast. Yeah, just the one, just the one drop, lovely. Oh my God. Ah! Oh. Well, I'll be down. I managed to get two more blast core and then I ended up building this machine to try and get back, but it just didn't work. Oh, passengers remain seated. We're about to take flight. Oh, never. Okay. Right, bye then. Fuck. On day 87, I made it home. What, what am I looking at? <laughs> it's like them children on Christmas who come and sing Christmas carols at your front door. And you're just like, fuck off. Please fuck off. After making the metal smelter, I managed to make copper bars, which meant... Oh, we can make a grappler. Oh, I'm so making that right here, right now. Yes. Right, let's see what this bad boy can do. This should, this should come in very handy. Here we go. Woo. That was awesome. Wait, can I grapple into the ploy? Yes. Ooh, that's awesome! I then managed to upgrade the crafting bench to its max level. I then made this cool headed charm which gives me so much more defense. Dude, this sand brute has no chance. On day 89 I made the best forest axe and the best pickaxe you could make in the game. Peely then came back to the village and I asked him to stay but he said no because Beef Boss took up my last spot. So I transferred him back to his original village where he belongs. But Peely still wasn't having it and at that point I just gave up. So throughout these 90 days I've done a lot, like a lot, but the only thing I haven't really done is explore the ice caves. So I kind of want to try that again. Um, hello, what the? That could have went very badly. Okay, let's see what this place has to offer. I collected some more iron, found this cursed bone inside of a chest, got jumped by a bunch of skeleton dogs and just normal skeletons, and made it out alive. Honestly, that place sucks. Got some... Ow, ow. Holy moly! I just got jumped. On day 93, I made my way home, smelled up some iron bars, and got hit by lightning. Whoa. That was awesome. Day 94, I managed to make the best crossbow in the game and sword. This is my final mission before the 100 days end. Kill the sand brute. I gathered the necessary amount of arrows I needed. And on day 96, I made my way to the dry valley to kill the final brute we haven't killed yet. Oh. <gasps> okay, he's here, he's here, he's here. Do I, do I just stay? Wait, I gotta show off my grapple skills. Come on, man. Woo. Terrible aim. Okay, okay, here he comes. Oh, didn't see that coming in, you buddy. Fucking ankle broke, mate. Let's get in there. 
Oh my god, no, 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 wait. There's no way I lose this. There's no way. Look at my grapple. Let me just do this. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Please. Oh. Oh, let me grapple, let me grapple, let me grapple, let me grapple. It's fine, it's fine. I can do it. I, I still got four days. No. No. Why? Why? This was a whole hour and a half trip. I can't. What do I even do now? Alright, so Jack's ass at this game and he wants me to carry him and beat the boss. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Nah, dude, this guy seriously build a village. I'm gonna blow that shit up. Alright, I don't know where the boss is, but I'm gonna try and kill him. Alright, I see him. Take that! What the? I'm Spider Man. Alright, nah, this guy. How did Jack die from this guy? Alright. He's dead. Well, clearly my brother did what I couldn't. And so for the rest of my days, I just camped out with Raptor and let time pass. And I'm proud to say that I survived 100 days in LEGO Fortnite.